Hello and welcome to this problem on calculating price, profit or loss after markdown and markdown rate to break even. We are solving the, the following problem. Holly buys sculptures from Toronto and sells them in her studio in Vancouver. She purchases the sculptures from a gallery in Toronto for $3,500, less discounts of 25% and 8%. Her overhead expenses are 10% on the cost, and she would like to make a profit of 45% on the cost of the sculptures. Calculate the following. First, the regular selling price of the sculptures. Second, how is profit or loss if she offers a markdown of 22%. And third, the maximum markdown rate how we can offer to sell at break even price. To work with this problem, we need to analyze the various components that make up the retail price of the sculptures. And the first component we would like to work with is C, for cost. The cost of the sculptures is the amount paid for them after both trade discounts and cash discounts. Because Holy qualifies for the discounts of 25% and 8%, we can say that she pays 3,500 multiplied by one minus 0.25 multiplied by one minus 0 0.08 dollars for the sculptures. 0.25 is the decimal corresponding to 25% and 0 0.08 is the decimal corresponding to 8%. When there is a discount when that applies, we get the whole amount multiplied by one minus the discount. And if there are various discounts that apply, then we multiply the full amount by one minus each discount. OK. When we compute this number, we find 2,415 dollars. That's what Holly spends on the sculptures. OK, next we are given information about overhead expenses. Overhead expenses, also known as operating expenses, are expenses such as salary, rent, utilities, insurance, advertising, etc. that are necessary to operate the business. Here, overhead expenses are written in terms of the cost. We have that Holy's overhead expenses are 10% of the cost. Then we multiply 0.1, that's 10%, but in decimals, by the cost, and we find that overhead expenses equal 241.5 cents. Those are Holy's overhead expenses. Next. They tell us about the profit that Holly would like to make. Then we have the profit. That we have that that profit equals 45% of the cost of the sculptures. We can write profit equals 0.45. That's the decimal equivalent of 45% times the cost of the sculptures. So we multiply 0.45 by $2,415. And that gives us the number $1,086.75. Now the profit is also known as net profit, is the amount of profit that is necessary to stay in the business. We can compute profit by subtracting all the operating expenses from the markup. We can do markup minus overhead expenses. And here the markup, also known as margin or gross profit, is the difference between the selling price and the cost of a product. Here markup is P minus C. So uh, we will get to talk about the price. We'll get to solve for the price in terms of uh, variables we have values for in a, in a moment. 
Okay. And we also need to talk about markdown. And we will uh, introduce that concept when we get there. But for now, I just tell you that the markdown is the amount by which the selling price of a product is reduced to determine the sale price or reduced selling price. Now in businesses, the selling price of an item is often reduced for various reasons, such as competition, clearance of seasonal items, out of fashion items, etc. And there is a relationship between the reduced selling price of an item and the markdown, but we will write that relationship later when we need it. Okay, so let's solve part A of this problem. We need to find the regular selling price of the sculptures. That corresponds to P. We need to find P. And we have C, we have OE, and we have PFT. There is a way to write P in terms of the variables we have, C, OE, and profit. Notice that from this equation right here, we can say that P equals markup plus cost. And from the equation we wrote right here, we have that markup is actually the same as profit plus overhead expenses. We have profit plus overhead expenses plus C and that's P. Then to find P, we add all the numbers we have, cost, overhead expenses, and profit. We add 2,415, 241.5, and $1,086.75. The addition of those numbers gives us the price at which sculptures are sold. And that price turns out to be $3,743 with 25 cents. So again, we can write profit in terms of markup and overhead expenses. We can write markup in terms of the regular selling price and the cost then we can write the price, the regular selling price of the, of the sculptures in terms of profit, overhead expenses, and the cost of the sculptures. Okay, let's move on to part B. In part B, we want to know how is profit or loss if she offers a markdown of 22%. So we have markdown equals 22%. That's measured with respect to the price of the sculptures. And we want to know about how it's profit or loss. 22% of the price corresponds to 0.22 multiplied by the price. And when we multiply 0.22 by P, and P is 3,743.25, we find the number 823.515. That is the markdown. Now, if that is the markdown, then the reduced profit that's denoted by PFT sub RED is given by the profit, take away the markdown. So we have the profit, and that is $1,086.75, take away $823.515. So the reduced profit is given by the number 263.235, which can be rounded off to $263.24.
because we got a positive number, we can say that Holy made a profit when she offered a markdown of 22%, and that profit was $263.235, or about $263.24. Okay. So now that we have all this information, let's move on to uh, part C of this problem. Let me erase here so I have enough space for part C. C. There we have. Oh, I need to erase even more things. Let me try to select all this. OK. The next thing we need to find is the maximum markdown rate that Holly can offer to sell at break even price. So let's find the break even price first, and then we find the markdown rate in terms of that break even price and the price and 100%. All right. So for part C, the break even price can be found by adding cost and overhead expenses. When a product is sold at its break even price, there is neither profit gain nor loss incurred. And when we add cost and overhead expenses, we get the number $2,415 added with $241.5. So we get the number $2,656.50. Uh, okay. Then with this information, what we get is that the maximum markdown rate is given by P minus that reduced price, the break even price, divided by P multiplied by 100%. So we're doing 3,743.25 cents minus 2,656.5 divided by 3,743.25 and all that multiplied by 100. And when we subtract those numbers on top, divide by the bottom and multiply by 100, we get 29.03225 two two five eight zero six etc which can be rounded off to twenty nine point zero three percent so the maximum markdown rate that holder can offer is about twenty nine point oh three percent okay and that's all for this problem so to summarize what we did we examined the retail pricing strategy for this company, for Holly's company. Um, and we analyzed the various components that make up the retail price. We exploited relationships between those components to answer questions A, B, and C. And uh, we did a lot of math. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Write a comment. I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.